Hey guys, sorry if my lighting goes a little bit wonky in this video. I'm trying out some a new lighting setup um, in my room. Uh, it's two lights right here. Uh, hopefully it gets a little more even lighting on myself, but I just wanted to warn you guys if my shit goes a little wonky during uh, throughout the video, that's why. Um, yeah. Now, on to the actual review. <laughs> this movie is so fucking good. I, I, I love this movie. This, this movie is awesome. This... If you haven't seen this movie yet, stop what you're doing, go watch it right now, come back and watch this review. I'll wait. I lied. There's so many good things to talk about this movie. The casting is great. Um, one of my favorite things, there are a bunch of like big name actors in this that only appear for a few minutes at most. Uh, Colin Firth's general, he's only in there for a few minutes to give our main characters their orders. Benedict Cumberbatch, he's only there for a minute. Same with Mark Shepard, and I loved that so much because normally these big name actors get to sh like hog all the screen time and you don't like get to know these new people who are really, really good actors. But this time it focuses on the people that we don't know, and they're the two main characters in this movie are really, really well done. They are very, very good actors, and they pulled off the like actual kids in war um, element that uh, they were kind of going for with this movie really perfectly. I feel like these two are going to go far and far in Hollywood. They are amazing, amazing actors. One thing I loved about this, the one-shot style of this movie. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. So you know how like a lot of movies, um, it cuts between angles and whatnot? None of that. One shot. The entire thing was done in one uninterrupted take. Zero cuts at all. That's a lie. I know for a fact there were actually a lot of cuts in this one. Since I work in a movie theater, I've seen a lot of like behind the scenes um, stuff just from this stuff being like before the movie and whatnot playing. So I know that there were a lot of cuts. This movie was basically filmed on location where they had to wait for the right conditions to get their shot and they had five minutes to get that shot. If they didn't get the shot, oops. But the fact that they made this look like one uninterrupted take following the characters, you did a fantastic job. In fact, who, who directed this? G give me one minute. Sam Mendes, you were a phenomenal director. Skyfall and Spectre, two of my favorite Bond movies of all time, you are fucking phenomenal. Roger Deakins, the cinematographer, he is always a joy to watch. His cinematography is always great. This movie is fucking phenomenal. And one of the aspects that I loved about it the most, it does not glorify war. It shows war uh, probably about as realistically as you can to someone who has never been a part of it. None of the characters that you see die, die gloriously or honorably. It is messy, disgusting. The characters go through fucking hell to get their mission done. And holy shit, is it fucking perfect. I love that so much. There are characters that you barely know and you feel sad for them when they get hurt and it's Fucking phenomenal. And it's something I've never seen another war movie do. Rarely ever have I seen war movies, at least none that I can immediately remember, that anyone can die at any time. There is never a moment in this movie where it feels like our characters are safe or that they're just going to make it because plot. It constantly, constantly, constantly feels like there is a threat of death looming above them. And I loved it for it. I think the closest I've ever seen another movie get is Saving Private Ryan. And there are a number of characters in the movie that I was like, you're not going to die just because, you know, you have to survive to make the plot work. But this movie, it's so good. Okay, and I would like to go back to the cinematography for a second. When I say it's fucking phenomenal, I mean, oh my god, I love it so much. There's one shot in particular that I fucking love. So basically, this could technically count as a spoiler. Skip to this time if you don't want that. Though I don't really count it as a spoiler because it's just one shot that I'm going to fucking fawn over. So basically, they come up to this crater and it looks down into it and there's a pool. 
like of water and they have to go around that uh, to get to the other side and so they go down into it and start going around the camera pans over and goes down and moves over it goes off of them for a second so I'm assuming there's a hidden cut in there somewhere and then it comes back up and it starts tracking across them the thing is, the position that it's tracking across following the characters is directly over the center of this pond. So, like, they had to go over and they had to hidden cut this shit so that the track that they used so that it, like, wouldn't go into the water wasn't there. So the water is not disturbed at all, otherwise that would break the illusion. And, oh my god, the shirt is so good! Because, like, you see the reflections of them in the water and it's just... <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I, if you can tell, I really, really like um, cinematography and stuff like that. But, oh my god, it's so goddamn good. There's not much more I can say about this. The acting is phenomenal. The two main leads, they're goddamn good. I hope to see them in more stuff in the future. I really hope they continue acting because they're really, really good at it. The side characters and side cast are really strong. It's just an overall great movie. I highly recommend that you see it. And all this leads into, for me, this film rolling a natural 20. Those are rare. I think this movie has a couple of flaws. Most movies do. But the flaws that it has are so fucking minor. And when your movie's biggest flaw is that you want it to continue because you want to see what happen keeps happening to these characters, you've done a fantastic fucking job. And I commend you. Alright, that's really all I have to talk about for this movie, guys. Um, I know this got a little bit more rambly than some of my other stuff, but seriously, if you haven't seen this movie, I implore you to go watch it. It is amazing. Buy it when it comes out. This movie is so fucking phenomenal. Guys, tell me in the comments down below what your favorite war movie is and why it is, if why you liked it. Anyway, that's all I have to say with that, guys. And as always, peace